Welcome back to Dream and Des Gaming. Dream and here playing some more Heroes of Might and Magic 3 tournament against Pumba. Um just waiting for opponent to I just got into the lobby, so we'll see how this goes. We'll be going up pretty shortly here. Necro Stronghold. Okay. Uh, that's uh that's pretty good. I like the I like Necro quite a lot actually. So I'm willing to push this up to about um 6k honestly that's where my comfort zone is I think he knows that <laughs> as well <laughs> Alright, at 7k, I think I'll let him take it from there. I think I'll let, the, let him do that. 7,900... For Red Necro against Blue Stronghold, he's gonna have a tough time. I doesn't really matter how good you are if you don't if you only can barely afford a hero. That's tough. So he's going to be getting 2100 gold plus his starting bonus of 500 to 1000. Um Yeah. I think I think I'm okay here. I would have liked to have been red, but I also didn't want to push it and let him have some more money. Might just be going over the rules or something here, so He's also a streamer too, so I'll put a link to his uh, his after um, his stream after when I post this as well. If you want to check out their uh, their point of view. All right, Ring of Conjuration is not bad. We got Vey, but we didn't really get a great roll on walls. So, um, let's go. Let's go exploring. Let's see what we got. Now with Stronghold, we have a really good hero. Oh, we have Manticore Break. Or is that just manticores in the road? Uh, with Stronghold, Stronghold's pretty weak. You're really looking for a few things here. That being um, pickets. And things you can use your really good heroes for, for like a tactics. Um, not really looking for spell power and stuff. It's okay, but it's not what they excel at. So we have one hive so far. Um, 
I guess we could have hired Moendor up there and just took the those guys up that way. Let's go check out a few things here. Let's just... Okay, that's a wolf pen guarded by Gorgons. Not exactly ideal. Okay, we got Picadram in there, so let's grab him. He can just go explore a bit more. We've got Armor of Wonder, which is pretty decent. Another Ring of Conjuration, and now we're looking at a few things here. So now we've got Silver Pegasi, Hydras for an awesome weapon, plus Prison. One Picket, one Hive. Two Hives, but this Hive is kind of tough to get into. Do you want to see if there was anything else out there? Doesn't really look like it. Honestly, this is looking like a reset for me. Some decent heroes, though. Like, where would we even go to start? That's the thing, right? Where do we have a start? Hmm. Really want to see what's down here. Mechanic box. That's something that we can't quite reach day one, right? Nor is it something I'd want to play day one. Yeah, I can't quite reach it. I honestly think this is going to be a reset for me. So we get two resets. One on... Two on day one, or... One on day... Two. Black Towers, okay. Alright, we'll grab Taraxor out then. But I'm not really enthralled by this map. Maybe if we get some tactics here? We don't. Expert offense is... or advanced offense is done... is there, which will help out. But what else do we get to do with that? You don't really want to take a hive day one. Not with Stronghold. Their troops aren't exactly resilient in hives. See, the ideal thing is getting some pickets to, so you can build up your Cyclops stack. Um, I mean, Manticore Break, if that's what that is, isn't that bad. But the rest of the map isn't that good. <laughs> Okay. Well, he's red, so he has to call first. But this will be a reset for me. Yeah, we have a helmet. I mean, we've got some decent artifacts. And he crashed, apparently, so... on day one.
All right, let's try this again. Well, maybe we get lucky there in regards to, uh, to this. It's like nothing really happened, so, um, but we wanted to restart anyways. So here we go. It's like a free restart for everybody. <laughs> okay, let's check this out. Maybe we have a better looking map here. Well, we have a pretty good wolf starting, yeah, extremely good wolf starting stack now, which is nice. Um, what's our artifact? Okay, still eye or quiet eye. All right, plus one attack, plus one defense. That's also very good. We have a hive right here. Con, size one conservatory to start at. That's pretty, pretty decent if I have to say so myself. Um, might turn that down just a little. Okay, yeah, there we go. Um, hmm. Okay, can we even come over here? No, we can't. We could grab this chest and not even sneak over there. Got it. <laughs> All right. Ring of Life, Wolf Pen, Behemoth Crag. Okay, this is looking pretty decent. Clear these guys out of the way, pick up that. We've got this down here. We've got a zombie box. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think this is okay so far. You don't come with the book, so yeah, you can... Here. We do have a library, which is not the greatest thing to see. We'll check this out after. I'd like to send someone else up the road. As well, just to try and get up there is a little bit more, see what we can. A tavern up here which would actually negate a day's worth of travel for our hero we could do that so it's a decent decent tavern there how many notes are there it's a uh, okay well we can just do this then All right, let's clear them out of the road and grab that, and then we'll make our way, I think, back here. One in four. Please don't lose four wolves to this. <laughs> Yeah, we're faster than them. Okay, offense. First aid, and then we can come over here and be ready to play that. So let's send Sandro down with the whites, plus a goblin. Okay, another, um, another Cyclops thing, pick it. All right, glare. Need you to pick up some money. 
Okay. You know what? That's... <laughs> That's pretty decent. Uh, I'm gonna drop everything off here. Got the ring. The ring is nice. And then we just come down here and sit, I think. Yeah. It's pretty good. We send Catherine over here too, just to help out. Or down here to pick up the Arties to here to there. I think we just send her this way maybe to help out a bit to deal with all this because we got to get those and chain them so yeah okay yeah I'm quite happy with this map yeah let's uh, pretty good starting spot for us We do need some cash though, so... Okay, and a great weapon right there on the way out. Um, they... Who's this? Oh, Urshaka, okay. Wisdom, yeah. Um, and that's Tarek. Uh, yeah, let's head up. All right. Okay. And an extra, so that's three pickets pretty good so far. Um, glare. Okay. They... Oh, there's a... Okay. Yeah. So we actually have to do this to come all the way back. So I'm glad that we did this. Okay. I'll take the ring of life. Glare. Basically just give this to you. And then make our way back down. Just to help chaining down here again. And here what we're going to do... Upgrade the wolves, bring everything. In fact, we're actually going to just get a new hero, Eris. That's fine with me. Um, I probably actually want to buy like a few more of them. Yeah, something like this. And then not forget our artifacts. Yeah, that's always good. Okay. Here we go. And I think we just start off with the box. Then we go up to here. And then we're at the hive. Yeah. That's probably our best. One in six. No, thank you. Now it's a matter of, do we one-shot 20 zombies? It's got to be pretty close. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll just let the orcs go and take some pot shots at them. Oh, he did hit us, so we probably want to wait. Get a couple more axe shots in them. There we go. Don't really want to lose a wolf to that. Okay. I think we're quite happy where we're at here. with that amount of uh, wolf riders, wolf raiders even, about to get a behemoth. How far can Ares get to here? So let's drop the slow units off of Taraxor. Not like we need them here. To make Taraxor fast. There we go. And now we do Behemoth, day three, hive, run, maybe into other hive or come up to do the con and then we run through the pickets. So that means we probably need another hero in here. Um, just kind of be up in this section here to help out. Hmm. Like, do I care about Galair now or do I care about Tarek? Not really. Either of them. There's another wolf pen here. It's really this next turn. I could get rid of Vey, just to have another hero over here to be with our skeletons and stuff for um, taking the hive. Yeah, if it's a small hive, that'd be great. Um, okay. Get rid of Vey to put someone else down in here. Yeah. Maybe we grab Thant so I know what he can't. <coughs> That's actually really good for me to see. That he doesn't have Thant. Oh, I have a tickle in my throat. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm quite happy with this start. I mean, he's got to be pretty happy with his, too. Considering he was down to basically one hero play. Like hiring one hero. But I mean he's necro, so... Yeah, it's one thing. Necro can play anything well. That's why you have to spend so much just to play as them. 
Um, and look, look at this. We've got an awesome weapon on the way out. Three pickets, which is going to be really good potential for range damage. Two hives, which is something. Like, it's not great, but either like to see more hives or something. And we can get an angel for speed. So, <clears throat> that's all good. We've got the wolf rider box, which huge wolf stack, 80 wolves on day two. There's not much we can't do here. Like if we go into a small picket, we can split and be good. Uh, okay, and we're stuck here, but that's okay. Okay, we got another hive up here. Okay, nice little section right there. Let's go get Sandro, see if he can make it to the town. This town is Necro Town all the way at the bottom. Okay, let's see if we cannot lose that guy. There, perfect. Into town. Um... Let's go check out what our break is. Gunslingers, okay. I haven't really dealt with gunslingers much. I do, because they're the new factory units, level six units. So this break, I don't think it's gonna be that bad. They don't have a lot of health. Their thing is if you shoot them, and they're unblocked, they get to shoot you back first. So, if we can block them, then it's not really much of an issue. Okay, I just wanna see, can we get through here? Okay, we can. So we could actually come down through this stuff um, but we'll get there in a minute. Okay, so first off, Traxor. We'll just take the behemoths right now. One in 19, no thank you. Let's get away from this mess of... Stuff. All right, let's just hit him, hit him, hit him. We might actually just kill him. Nice earth magic, even better. <clears throat> Go here, hive, run. Might be good. Something like that. Okay, we want to do this. We'll actually these guys over. Let's go fight them. Nineteen and seven, preferably not. Okay, they're all in one big ol' stackity stack. So close to uh, having them... Having them run. One to two, I don't really want to do that. We'll move you up, because we're gonna send our... our wolves in. Nice. And it's small, so that's actually really good. Oh, we can come down this way. I didn't realize that. 
All right, so with that we'll do this. We'll take them off. We'll do this. In fact, I might even just do that. Um, no, I'd rather have them still target like goblins and things versus our wolf riders themselves. So let's do this. Teraxor is good. 22, 1, and 23. Do they go on the goblins right away? <clears throat> they do, so not much we can do there. Okay, we have advanced tactics now. Hmm. Now what, do we go right to here or do we go... Like this could still be dangerous, so I'd like to probably start other places first. Now we could run and hire down here. So we could start playing this that and then there someone else can do the griffin conservatory anyone that has access to haste um we need the money forgot to visit that wagon but that's okay so thant anybody in here that i'm risking overwriting no um, something like that. We can just run off of whatever on uh, the trucks here. Um, Thant can move down. Because we're going to want to get Okay, so now we just have to figure out how we do this. Anything cool up here that I need to worry about does not look like it. Okay. Because <clears throat> the next thing we could do is play the Corsairs. And this. Then we have a stack of Wyverns. And then we can play the, the Khan. Send things up. And then move down. To set up the chains down here because this will take a couple turns to do this hero will definitely help out for all this stuff <clears throat> hmm okay okay so do i start off up top or down below Because if I start off down here, that means we need to get every the army down here next turn. Um, how much movement do you have, Catherine? You're full, okay. <clears throat> do we go Mage Guild then? Or do we go towards Behemoth Crag? I think we go Mage Guild. See if we get, no, no haste, eh? No haste, no slow. Because how far can you make it in one turn? It's not very far. Like, we'd be able to go from here to here and play that with Taraxor. And then we could play that the following turn. And then we'd have this, this, this. Yeah, okay. So if we run to here, <clears throat> we have Taraxor play this next turn. Set up for speed to hopefully play this the following turn. Set them up to run or something to be up here or to play this. This hero plays that. Um, yeah, so 
Catherine needs to be down here. We need more heroes down in this section then. Okay. Meaning you. How far can you get out that? You can't. So let's check that. Alright, and then you can get to there. Um, Cuthbert we don't need. Braun or Aiden, either of them. So either way we need a tavern. Actually, yeah, either way we need the tavern here. Because we're running two here. So let's go there first. Run. Grab Taraxor, see who we got. Charna, actually not a bad hero. Um, same speed, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'd like to get a spell book on you, but we also need you to get here. That's 16. Yeah, so we actually need you to be up there if we want to do this next turn. Okay, we start there. Meaning we need either another hero up here, so we could go just get Charna right now. And Josephine, who has haste. Where were you, like, a minute or five ago? Um, let's just go grab some of these because we're going to need them we're going to need the money and then we have that chain it'd be nice to have one more hero out here but we kind of need you to be in this area for us for when we come back up to take over all of this and Tarek's also a good hero okay let's let's just be here in the road with you Thant right to there so Rashka to there here you go Eris We can get rid of you if we need. Oh, yeah, get rid of that. I'm going to keep the skeleton. Um, just for... We've got more down there, so we can always pull them up. Now we'll grab Josephine. Don't forget the artifacts, please, please, please. Don't forget the arties. Because, yeah, then um, Josephine can be here to help out. Meaning that Catherine can get to, like, here to pass the army on to Taraxor, Charna is here as well okay Catherine to you here you go but we don't have any more um I see we don't have any more uh goblins that's funny all right 20 might not be avoidable. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shoot. Okay. Well, we're going to get up on this guy. Kill that one. Yeah. 
saw the hat, unfortunately. There we go. Only seven versus twenty. And this is a big one. All right. Um, I don't really care about the orcs in here then. Uh, get rid of the orcs. Might lose our behemoth. <clears throat> This being big, this is actually probably good for us. We want to keep them in a big stack then. We have expert offense. Uh, I think we get rid of you guys because we can't protect you. Yeah, I think we just do it like that. Taraxor 24 and 1 Well, that's going to be a dead behemoth. Um, might as well take out the stack then. That's unfortunate. Those morales. Okay, well... Because now I think we can block him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. We go here and here. Oh, he could hit us. You know what? That's fine because we keep our behemoth. And we get eight, be eight uh, of you guys. 1622. Um, Charna means you can take the armies, yeah, like so, keep that on you, because now Traxor... 1522 and we have 1900 we can play that with him next turn so we just want to get up there maybe this is a scroll of slow it is not okay glare okay and that's a size two right here that's actually pretty good get rid of you now because that's a size two if we come here chain fifteen fifty six fifteen forty eight so actually if we do the chain here to there Okay, so Tarax replays this. Um, Charna chains to Josephine. Josephine chains to Galare. Galare plays. Chain, or possibly Josephine plays. If she can make it. She could. She has exacts to make it there if she doesn't have to carry the army. So I need another hero here to chain. So I don't need Catherine, but we also have, um, 
get? We'll take Soreg. Soreg comes with. No. Don't think he came with anything that we didn't already have. So that's a little unfortunate. Um. Yeah. Be something down here just to be in this section. I would love Catherine to pick up this stuff so we could afford more things. Yeah, because if we do this down to here, Josephine plays that with haste on our Cyclops. We should be fine. Because then we could play, after this, we can play this hero with Galare. Or, you know, we play 1146. I think that'd be the same movement going from here. So we could always have Josephine play this hero, this hero play that. and vice versa, then coming up here to play all this. But with this, we still might need Taraxor for, so we'll see. Um, we want a marketplace. We're gonna need it. Tarek is still up here. I'd actually like him to grab those and maybe meet us part way down. Um, Glare, yeah, you can move out like you that just to get into town and just chill there because I don't want to dismiss you and have our opponent get that. Okay. Before any of that happens, we need Taraxor to play this. Yeah. Okay. Right to there. Um, Charna. Here we go. One, something like that. Twenty four. Let's try not to lose twenty four wolf riders here. Just in case they got a morale or something, we don't want them to hit us there. There we go. Perfect. Could take leadership, but we need to finish this stuff off. All right, Charna, let's grab that. And it's small, okay. Um, honestly, we might wanna just split then. And we should only lose a couple of wolf riders here. Which is kind of nice. Uh, seven, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's it's min. Yeah, it was a matter of if they get morale or not.
and they did. So, um, we'll do this. We'll keep one wolf rider here. Keep the tappered on. Gain a little bit of mana, because we can always run to rack. We can go here and then try to run type of deal. Um, Soreg, grab everything. How far can we make it to there? So yeah, I guess we play that with Josephine. Josephine gets that hero out. That hero plays this. Okay, so Catherine. Of course, there's the shield in that one. Um, we'll come back to you, Thant. Um, you can just go in there for now. Dismiss that. Um, Rashka, far can you make it? Not very far in here. Um, okay, so Sora can make it to there. So Josephine needs to be there. Now we could just not bring the Wyverns, but I think we're going to need them for the size too. Yeah, which is unfortunate. All right, so we're gonna go here, play this, 11 and one. Let's see if we can avoid that. One, two, three. If we haste you, we can at least get you across, which is, might be slightly better results nice slightly better results uh soreg or actually charna now we can actually just get rid of charna as much as I want to keep the necromancers on our side here. Speaking of necromancers. <sighs> she's got Scholar. That's fantastic. Now we have Haste. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. She'll play this quite well, actually. Five to all stats. Um, I don't really want the... Um, orcs. So I think I do that. Haste the Cyclops. Yeah. Okay. Twenty six one and one. No, thank you. Um, okay. Well, let's do this and hit up here. Because you might be able to clear them or get them pretty darn low. Yeah. Now we can just wait. On 
honestly. We've got arrow. We could just start arrow spamming, but I don't think we need to yet. There we go. Earth magic, we'll take it. This is a decent hero. <laughs> That'd be funny going at him with a necromancer. Um, yeah, that, that would be funny. Um, okay, well now we can play up here towards this. We have two angels. Um, the 20 skeletons or whatever, like, that's it's fodder for our hives, I guess, but, um, up to there. So, Glare, Glare can reach, but is Glare better to play that? than Septiana. We've got haste now. Do I wait the turn because we've got so much more mana? Okay, I think we play this just with glare. 12 Cyclops is a lot. We've got 30 mana. Haste. Three rounds. Yeah, I think this will be okay. Galera can play this. We can get rid of Soreg to open this up. And then maybe we can play into that right away. Two, forty-five, one, six. So there's thirty-five of them. This is not great terrain for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Something like that. We want to be over here and protect the Cyclops. Yeah. Let's go take them out. Yeah, we're going to lose our um, behemoth. 40 points, does that do anything for us? I think we shield up our wolf riders. We just hit there. Just keep this guy occupied up there. Yeah, okay. Okay, 125. Do we shield here or do we haste you? I think we shield here. Hit the seven stack. Blast him. Hit there. Nice. We lose our um, dude, but that's okay. And then Glare can open this. Next turn, we open up the hero. 15k gold, I'm quite happy with. Um, that means Tarek can be in... That means we can keep Tarek up here for positioning to play that. That means we can get rid of a lot of these heroes. Um... Teraxor still needs a little bit more XP, or Septiana does. Uh, Rashka. 
so we already have a bunch of heroes down here. So you open this, get to play that, chain back down, and we're all in here. Meaning we need someone up here and someone up here. Taraxor needs to run and start making his way. Because he still needs a book. He doesn't have a book. Um, and we want to play at least that hive and stuff. So. I think we just do that with you for now. Because we could have Rashka up here. Get your book. Um, honestly, I think we just get rid of those for now because they're slow. You can be up here to play the size one. Meaning we need another hero there. So Josephine has our extra troops here. So Soreg we can get rid of. Um, I guess we go Behemoth Crag because we can afford it. Alkin with a book. Um, can just be down here. To help chain this out. Taraxor, I'm really hoping we can find something for you to run on over here. Basically get mana, run, and then here, get the book and go. Um, Josephine, yeah, you're going up. Basically, you guys are doing what you can. There. Um, I'd like to research, see if we can get slow. Take haste. Okay. And I think it says... Oh, oh, we're going... We have Sims this turn still. Okay, I thought we had a break for Sims here. Uh, shoot. Alright, Traxor. Okay, we have a place to run. Knowing that I care if we overwrite. So... Do you wish to retreat? Yes. Okay. Let's do this. Galare. Open that up. Jedi. Okay. Okay. Um, no haste, unfortunately. He doesn't have Scholar. So I might just continue with this. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Um, you can actually reach there. I think we just haste. Um, you guys to do a ton of damage however much we can. It's actually quite huge. And then, yeah. I mean, it just kills that stack. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. Go there. Can run you now. Run you. Run you. Run you. You can just come in and hit.
Okay, and then we can do this. Uh, and this is a max one again. Or, well, could be max. So we're probably going to lose all our wolf raiders here. And that's okay. We just don't want to... This is max. Okay. Just don't want to lose the... Uh, all the Cyclops, if we can. Go there. Do you punch? How many do you do? Do you get them? Okay, now you come down here and you can... Well, we're gonna lose those guys, which kind of sucks. Uh, and that's it that we have, so we're just going to start pounding down them with the Cyclops. There we go. Jedi here to there. Glare's a good hero, but we might get rid of him. In fact, we're very likely getting rid of him. Well, actually, we're probably not because he's right next to the trading post. So, all right, Jedi to there. Josephine, though, we'll probably get rid of now. All right, um, Jedi. I don't really need those. Okay, Septiana to here because you've got pathfinding. Here you go. That's a ton of skeletons. Um, yeah, that's fine. So Tiana can make it where? All the way to there. So Alkin can be here. So Tiana can make it up. Catherine, can you make that? Shoot, I didn't get that shield. That's okay. Kind of forgot about the shield. Get all this, Alkin. Grab everything here. Now Alkin can't play that. Thant can. So let's do that with Thant. Here's all of that. Corsairs, I mean, that's, they might run. Nice. 50 to 99. Yeah, that's, that's good. 49 and one, done. Comes back out. Uh, Josephine is gone. Hero, so we grab Isra. Get rid of that. Do something like that. Um, I guess we can leave those on Thant. We don't need them for the thing up there. And then we take these two Roshka here you go the 
this is only a size one, so this should be fine. Three angels. Then we start making our way up here. So we can hopefully play this. So Tarek to there. To that. Here you go. And then we can have this open. And we get the town. Can't do anything in the town, but we get the town. Um, and then I think we're just going to be trying to be in here. Galare's getting this. Jedite. Catherine has our shield. Septiana. Thant is there. Isra. I mean, Isra is in a good spot, unfortunately. I don't want to get rid of Thant. But I might have to. He's probably the least evil of the ones I can get rid of. And then that means that I still need to get um, Taraxor, buy him a book, and get rid of maybe Dispel for slow. Done. He's up to 30 mana. Um, one more level is all he needs, and he has... he's almost there. So, we just try to get him forward as far as we can. So we can play that, and that, and then we're basic... we're going to be breaking day one, unfortunately. Or we could... Hmm. <laughs> I'm tempted. 432. I mean, in theory, if we have enough money, I could get him to run here. Higher here. And go. Um, we don't have enough money for anything else here. Or things. Um, man. We don't even have enough for the marketplace. We need wood. Um, so that's that. And I think that's my turn. Oh, man. Now we just need to shake off some stuff. Oh, he's got a Luna. <laughs> of course, right? Uh, not a very big Luna. He's got lots of knowledge, knowledge though, which is a little frightening. It's okay. We have one Behemoth Crag. It's day seven. Or going to be day seven. So pick up this stuff. Park Galare here. Jedi. I could get rid of Jedi. Catherine needs to pick up that wood and come up with the shield. So we actually have a shield. Except yeah, and I can change it chain it here, here to wherever, and then we just need to get into the desert, like, as fast as we can. I'd love to get this weapon, but I'm also fine with the weapon we have. Basically, he needs to get here, maybe he'll play this, just for the XP, and then be here, day s end of day 7, right, because, or... I guess he'll be give or take there. Yeah. Give or take. That's why if we actually have enough money, I might just run here, higher here, and that gives us we're even closer. I don't know 
what we'll do with it, all of this. Okay, so what's his stats like here? Two, three, four, two. Not great. Yeah, really not that great. So hopefully he's having a rough game <laughs> is kind of how I'm hoping. But yeah, we're looking at a one, one to one break. Unfortunately, can't get, can't get much closer than that. And kind of wish I positioned um, tracks are down here instead because we could have been like right there. We were already at mana. That means we could have hired here with like full move to there and be right here day one. Shoot. Oh well. Things you think about when you're not in the moment, right? Um, so he's taking his turn. I'll be right back. Okay, it looks like his turn is about to end here, or pretty close to it on the, on the turn tracker. We don't have a lot of time to do this turn, so... Um, depending how this goes so first we got to pick up this stuff and get some cash second we need to figure out what to so we also need to get you get this stuff shield um, and then we could dismiss um, run Taraxor there um, get Taraxor here deal with this hive and somehow get an angel onto tracks or to at least play this and get down the road as far as he can so he's ready as ready as we can be anyways for a day one break um, so take a look at his stats and everything. Like, nothing's really been crazy jumping out at me yet, so, which is kind of nice. Um, our Traxor's got a nice, stable amount of stats. Our artifacts are decent. They're not great, but they're not bad. I mean, that. Having the shield will help. This would help. But I'm also not that worried about it. Actually, the seal would be nice too, going up against Necro. Um, yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Actually, it looked like he was almost done and then he's still going, so he might be in a fight right now. Yeah, oh, there we go. As I'm taking a sip of water, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So first off, we need to deal with this. Um, yeah. So this this should be easy. Let's go grab that. Um, let's just start on that. I don't think these guys are going to do much to any of us here especially once we kill one of them he's only at a hundred pretty sure yeah there we go okay so here's where we because if this is max, we probably want to have like that. Nine, it, it is max. So we want to hit that there. Because then we kill 18. Um, we could haste the angel. Yeah. Um, just kill one of them. 
Oh, the angel actually still doesn't go first, eh? There we go. Um, kind of sucked, but that's fine. Because now what we need to do, we need that wood and then, all right, so we can actually do this. Pass the shield on, and now I don't care about you. Glare. Can go sit here. Honestly, let's just get some money. Um, Jedi. You have that. Can you get up to this crag? You can get pretty darn close, actually. So that's kind of nice. Grab that. The wolves and like be here. Isra. So Taraxor needs to just go here. Isra needs to get that. Okay. So what do we do here? We get the tavern. We grab someone fast who can do this and come up a bit um, we get rid of Tarek fortunately they're a very good hero alright we'll take a Fafner here who can grab this and then we're back up to the road. We get rid of Paces. And now uh, we go back to Galare. Do we need to build anything? No. We could get the upgraded Cliff Nest for speed, but don't really need to. So let's just uh, get some cash here. Um, we'll grab Marketplace, so we don't have one. We'll get the Kadram, who can, I guess, grab the box. It's just 5k XP. Um, Fafner can pass off the troops. The Kadram can make his way down. Um, we could grab a war machine, which is actually not a bad idea. We have like no money though, so it is a bad idea. Rashka can do this. Get to here. Taraxor runs from there. So Septiena. Um, we actually want to get you up because we want to make sure you get that shield. You run. Wish to retreat. Yes. Rashka. Um, we'll hire Taraxor. Uh, and get back on the road. Gets us to there. Isra is going to be following, so uh, we'll just do that. Here's all this. It's not quite enough XP, but this should be. Oh, actually, it might not be. Now that will be. Okay. So we'll just be right down there. Isra will be as far as we can forward. Right. 
right there. Septiana is going to be coming up or helping chain the behemoths, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Um, do we need crystals to get behemoths? No, it's just money. So glare. Come out and try and get some extra cash here. Same thing, pick up this. We'll get the three behemoths. And then we can take everything else, Rashka. Moving up with the rest of our troops. And that's, that's going to be it. We already have the marketplace here. Yeah. And not a lot of time on the clock, which is not great. Thirty-one, three, ten. So yeah, so he has a lot of knowledge. He just doesn't have power. So I want to get into the desert here and start taking as much as I can out of his area. So yeah, so we go here, level into earth magic. Um, we chain the behemoths. That's one, two, three, three behemoths and whatever fodder we can up. Um, and then we're just grabbing everything else that we can. We have a decent army though. So 18 wyverns, 23 cyclops, three angels, three behemoths. So it's, it's decent. Not great, but it's decent. All right, and with that, we'll, uh, we'll pause here and we'll see you when it's our turn. Okay, it looks like it's going to be our turn again. Pretty quickly here. Feels like he's taking a long time on his turn, so I have a feeling this is probably where he broke. Because he's, he's taken lots of fights this turn. And long fights, too. So, usually indication of break and desert. Um, uh, but hey, that's what we're going to do too. Maybe we, maybe we get lucky, we get the entrance town and it's like right there. Um, okay, so first off, Galare, um, we don't really have much in the way of resources. Okay, pick Dram, we might not need you anymore. Uh, Jedi... Just get as far as we can. Septiana. There we go. We learn res. It's actually quite huge. Um, we want to get all of them. Uh, we actually have four. Where's Fafner? Can Fafner really get anything? Okay. Get rid of you, Galare. Can we make it back? No. Next turn you can though. Okay. Um, Roshka. So Alkin. So we come back in here. We take those. I mean, might as well get what we can for those um, leave that we'll bring those just for some fodder to have on the road um, we'll get our third market here should also check yeah okay so he's probably in mid he's got a fourth town okay and he just got that oh man okay 
as far up as we can. We have... No one has any artif artifacts or something that I missed. Okay. Oy. Let's go hit up here. Don't mess up, basically. Um, everything that we can... Bring the trogs, I guess? Just as extra fodder. Um, Roshka. Okay, so tracks were there. Expert Earth. Roshka there. Um, something like that. Because then 1500, 1700, yeah. So we move forward like so. 23115. Okay, we want to get up in their faces. They have the upgraded ones. Not exactly great for us. Um. Okay. Probably want to slow them so we can get across before they go. Hit them there. And then kill that guy basically. Oh shoot, they shot us. Right, I forgot about that part. And my dog's going off, so I'm just going to go mute for. Okay. Like, if that's a town... No, it's not. Okay. So we need to go down. Lots of nicks, man. Okay, Roshka. Here. To Isra. Isra... To here. Like that. Um, Nyx Warriors. We'll take this fight because it shouldn't really cost us anything. How much mana do we have? 21. We'll use one slow. It's like, really? much as I would have loved the, uh... Okay, we got something in the road. Man. Alright. Sixty skeleton warriors. Not the type of box you're looking for, that's for sure. 
Okay. Prison? <laughs> no prison here for me, eh? Okay, well, this is fine. Come on. <laughs> I guess we'll take the box in case he's like right up here. 5k XP. Not what we're looking for. Okay. So where is mid? Man, that is unfortunate. Okay, Skeleton Warriors, um, hopefully it's not up, doesn't seem like it would be, that's a heck of a nice amount of artifacts right there, um, I guess we just put you out and just like ready to go up that way or possibly um, run to mid. We've got res. Yeah. Be ready to run. Maybe we get, maybe he had the entrance town and not mid. Hard to tell. Um, Otherwise, next turn we'll get that from for that. So I think let's go double check Taraxor. Got everything on here that we think we can. Yeah, I was hoping for logistics in one of those levels, but you know what? I'll take I'll take expert archery at this point. Plus fifty percent more damage. Um, and we have a Cyclops stack. So that's, that's good. I have a feeling, though, that this game isn't going to go our way, which is unfortunate. Twelve, eleven, three, and 4 versus 3, 2, 1, 3. Okay. He's got the extra town, but really that's all that matters. We don't have scouting down here, so I'm hoping that this is the right way. This looks like mid. That looks way too north. So. Now hopefully he just doesn't grow out of like extreme proportions here, but so far, looking at this desert going, there's not a lot for us to do here. We can pick that up, I guess, but that's not even really worth it. Um, yeah. If we can overpower him, if he doesn't get, like... Because he had, what, like 10, 10 mana or 10 knowledge on his um, whatever he had, Luna or something like that. Um, so if he's, if he got a town and rested, um, I don't know if that's like the, the Thunder Helmet or the, um, the Crown, the, the Sea of Crown, the Sea Crown? I don't remember what that one's called. Um, so if he gets like a hundred mana this turn and we have to fight, fight a Galthran with... Or even a Luna with a hundred mana and he's got spells. Can we do that if our army is stronger? Maybe. Uh, he didn't have power, so 
He didn't have very much in the way of spell power. Because I think his, even his, like, Luna only had, like, three or four. So, meaning his artifacts are in the, are either the helmet and some minor stuff that he's carrying. Maybe he's got morale stuff. Um, or, or luck stuff, you know, those types of things. But, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. Like, if... <laughs> probably could have played that a bit better because i shot the the one guy who shot us first with the cyclops so i probably lost like three cyclops that i didn't need to lose so if we had three more cyclops i mean that's our full stack of them um but i feel like we played everything in our biome that's enchanters okay um that we could we could have played this too but would giants really help they would just bring down our morale we played, we played our three hives, we played our two cons, we played our three pickets. So we played everything the map had to offer other than one XP shop and this weapon on the way out. Mostly because I wanted to be closer here. Oh, there he is. Okay, okay. Agit, okay. Um, inter I don't remember seeing an agit. I wonder if that's a prison hero. Kind of looks like a prison hero, actually. Starting army is all the all the troops. Um, he's got two guys right here. So we'll we'll keep we'll keep this. Oh, did he just dismiss him? Maybe. I wonder if we're like, I wonder if town is like just over here. But if he just dismissed him, I have a feeling town's probably over here. Because if they want like full movement, if that's like a straight line, yeah, it's going to be rough. So he sees me here, so we'll, we'll ch check it out. Um, you know, I've got... A decent amount of skeleton warriors. They can hang out. They can do stuff. Um, I've got Death Ripple. So if he does attack me with like a hero, I could hit them with a the Death Ripple and be fine. Um, hmm. I'd love to play that, but I think I would die to it. Okay, he's stuck right there. He had a uh, what? Not a, not Annabelle, but the uh, the money making girl for Cove that looks like her right there. So, um, I don't remember what her name is. Oh, Atchet's actually his best hero right now, 7422, so that's probably, yeah, probably a prison hero. Okay. Interesting. So he didn't get rid of Agit, at least not yet. All right. Um, it's going to be our turn shortly here, so we get Isra to grab the scales just to have that extra three spell power is still three spell power. Um, he doesn't have a lot of spell power. He just has a ton of knowledge. So if he's coming up to fight, which would be ideal for me, I think. I think that would be ideal situation is he challenges me right now. Because I don't have much else to do to bring up. So if he fights me here... Maybe maybe the desert's terrible and that's all he can do, right? I don't know if there's an easy tome of earth or something like that that he's playing right now. That would suck. Tome of earth on a Galtran. Yeah, that would be terrible. Um, but like what I'm looking at here is nothing. And for fodder and stuff that I could bring, like we have we have no money, <laughs> so. It's not like I can even do too much there, right? I can't even bring up like the Thunderbirds or something like that. 
Maybe we can fight him with Septiana. But I'm not not looking at doing that. Would be funny. He animates. I res. <laughs> Because the res is nice. She's a good hero. Turned out pretty decent. Okay. He's almost done his turn here. Not too much time or uh, movement left on the tracker. We'll just keep this running. I'll probably put a um, time stop in or time stamp in here when it's our our go. I'm just gonna put it on mute for a moment. Okay, so some, I just wanted to look at the tavern again and just see. So he's got a little bit more stats, but not much. Tons of knowledge, like I thought. So, and instead of 10, it's 13, so I wonder if he got, um, like a tavern or something like that. Because he also didn't have very high power before. He still doesn't have very high power. It's only 5. But a five power animate on Expert Earth is still enough to to hurt. But also, so is 20 Cyclops to the face of 200, 300, 400 skeletons. So he has to get them over to me first. So yeah, unless he has either haste or um, teleport, it could still be good. Um, and it really depends on what his other army is like. If he's got angels, wyverns, if he's got a firebird, you know. If he has the about the same size army as I do, but he just has a skeleton stack on top of it all, we have a chance, depending on how much mana he has. If we fight him and he's got 20 or 30 mana, we, we have a shot. If he has 130 mana, because he rested, 
Um, well, we probably don't have a shot. <laughs> like, we really needed to be, like, a little bit closer. Man, if I had, if I had recognized that a little bit earlier, rather have him come up here and just ha sit right there, we'd be, you know, we'd be a little bit farther down the road. We'd be, like, right here, give or take. You know, that extra eight steps or so. And eight steps is a, a decent amount. You know, 400 movement points. So, you know, there are, there are points in my game where you can think about um, improvements as well. But so far, I, I think I played this decently well. My chains are, I felt, decent going up through all this. It just, uh, we had to play, we had to play top to bottom, or bottom to top. Like, we had to play everything. And we had to start somewhere, and we happened to start in the middle. So, yeah, starting here to this, running, and then playing one, two, three, and then playing this stuff. Like I don't, I don't know how we could have gotten more efficient at playing everything, but we could have gotten a little bit more efficient with Taraxer's movement at the end. So, okay, he's almost done his turn. So I have a feeling, um, if anything, now if he's taken, like he, he for sure has mid because he's here. Um, more than likely he's gotten a, what is it? A mage guild. So we'll probably be fighting Galthran if, if not next, this upcoming turn, the one after with full mana. And that's gonna suck. Especially if he has a big spell to go alongside his animate or anything. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe he doesn't have animate. <laughs> Maybe he had to re-roll his, his uh, mage guild 30 times and still couldn't get it. Because I've had that happen. Oh, man. Oh, well. Nope, and he just took another fight here. Not a auto combat. So that's that is one good thing to know too is he's not taking a lot of auto combats. So he might not be that strong or he's fighting things to get really good stuff. So Hopefully it means that he's going to kill himself on some random Ifrit Sultans or something. Something tough. Archangels for Tome of Earth and there's like 20 of them. I don't know. It's a pack of them and there's 19. That'd be great. Um, don't think that's going to happen. He's back to Agit again. So they're not passing around stuff with um, knowledge and power, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm still waiting for him just to march up here and just attack. Um, I don't think that's going to happen though, unfortunately. Um, Roshka, can you get this? 1524. Yeah, if, if we move out of the way, he can at least grab it. So, that's something. Okay, we'll do that. Alright. The 
the kiddos are being loud. <laughs> but they're having fun. I don't know if you hear the hear them playing in the background there. Um let's see. He's gotta be almost done his turn. Is that a, a long productive turn? Which is not good for me. <laughs> Which is very not good for me. Like, the only thing that we missed out really on is this Cyclops cave, two extra Cyclops. I feel like I played all the fights well, other than our break. Could have done that slightly better. And then just had tracks for down here a bit farther. So, beyond those two things, I think I played this map as well as I possibly could have. And I'm glad I went down instead of up. Up looked way too up. Like, we're already in the northern section of the center. So if we go up, yeah, that's too far. So. Well, here's saying that he probably doesn't have the entrance town, and he probably just had mid last turn. Which means that maybe he broke 117. One one seven break, getting mid at one two one, and doing all the farming one two two. Yeah, that could be the case. <clears throat> well, it's going to be out of time. I don't know if that's good or a bad thing for me. He's either taking a really tough fight right now. Oh, okay, he finished up. All right. So let's go... Isra. Okay, that's Lena. Um, Traxor. Rashka. There we go. Um... Isra So here we go, we're gonna be starting the march on him just to see he's surrendered her, okay. Do we have you earth? We have you air. Do you have view anything? No. Shoot. Okay, well let's... 15... 14... In case we need to surrender. Um... Dram. Okay, there's something. Okay. Isra. Hmm. Left or south? Okay. Okay. Isra. Let's see if he runs him. So, yeah, just some random hero. Oh, and there's the town. Okay. We have, like, exacties to get to town. Okay. Okay. 
And there he is. Okay. This is going to be it. He's going to have full mana. 15. So 150 mana. Stats aren't really that great otherwise. Looks like we're going to have a comparable army. 1 to 4, 1 to 4. Hopefully that's just 2. Um, and then he has skeletons and some and wyverns, 20 to 49. Hopefully it's on the low end. He doesn't have a moat. So you know he probably went mage guild and then tavern or tavern and then mage guild. Probably mage guild and then tavern to be perfectly honest. Um, hopefully he spent a lot of mana. He probably isn't at full mana. Septiana, I can run if we beat him here. There's a hive here he didn't take. But you know he played this utopia. Okay. All right. Um, is that how we want to do this? Yeah, I think so. 159 skeletons, that's it. Okay. Ninety-eight mana. Um, he has plus one ring speed. Neutral morale. We're actually minus morale. Oops, I clicked that wrong. Just in case he has like a meteor shower or something. I want to protect, but I also, you know, don't want to do much here, right? So I can slow. I could slow. Does he have interference? He does not have interference. I could slow, he has to haste or slow me, etc. Um, that's probably the best move because we've got 20 Cyclops, Expert, um, Archery. So I don't think his Skeletons are his threat. His Wyverns are his threat. But if we can pot shot them from far, protect the Cyclops at all costs, basically. He's got a chain, okay. Does he have Tome of Air? I'm kind of glad I spread out like that then. <laughs> I was thinking Meteor Shower, uh, but that's okay. Um, ow. That only killed four, though. Four Cyclops. Um, wait. Wait. We get our Cyclops turn. Okay, that's huge. That's huge. We'll wait. And we'll see what he does. Um... He had 90-something mana. So I don't think he has air magic, actually. Because that cost him 20-something mana to use. So if, so if he found, like, a Tome of Air, but has earth magic, he can only cast that three more times. Which is still for a 12 more Cyclops. Um, hmm. Hmm. What do we do? Start chipping away at the skeletons? Start chipping away at a angel? Or the wyverns? Let's hit the skeletons, I guess. For now. We'll see.
Okay. Now what? Who is shield? We arrow. We could arrow and hit and kill. Maybe we hold off on the spell. Um, if he hits there with the chain again, I think that's okay. Yeah, because one, two, three. Did it hit our? Yeah, it didn't hit the catapult before. Yeah, so he doesn't have he doesn't have air magic. Okay. Um, we'll wait. We'll let him. If he wants to chain, he can chain. It's gonna suck. Yeah, you can only do it two more times. This is where I wish I had Septiana right now. If I had Septiana here with a res, um, that would be extremely good. Okay, I got everybody's turns. Okay. Well, now I can hit him in the angel and then take the angel with the uh, with mine. Oh no, I wouldn't be able to. Okay. Well, let's start on... Let's keep going at the skellies. It's still a decent stack. I don't want to be hit by 100. Um, we don't have much mana, which is an issue. Okay, yeah, we're just going to bring you guys forward and just get in there to start attacking. Because we need to. We need to bring bring everything we can across. Okay. Well, we hit here. So we aim. Do we hit him with the arrow? I think so. Like that. Go, go with our shield and then just slam. What do we slam? Do we slam probably the wyverns? Oh, bad luck. Oh, come on. That actually hurts. So you could haste the wyvern now to take our angel. Could animate. I don't think he's going to worry about animate now. these are ancients <laughs> oh well hmm I wonder what he's thinking here Because he could do that. He could haste them and get them out of the way. But then I just hit his skeletons instead and that'll work for me. Because he still has a big skelly stack.
Oh, man. <clears throat> okay, well, we'll see what's going on here. Hmm, the slow, yeah. That's also good. Also very, very good. And behemoths still get to go though, so they'll still get a free hit on the on the wyverns. Which will be nice. Unless he moves his angel here. Which he could do. But then he'd have a dead angel. I don't think he wants that. Because I still have 12 clops who are hitting with plus 50% damage. I bet I couldn't get a golden bow. Yeah, there we go. That's what I thought he would do. Now it's 19 wyverns and 128 skellies versus 12 and 12, basically. My behemoths are too slow to really do too much here. We don't have a lot of mana left. We have basically enough for an arrow. Or another shield or something. But he also can't... Like, if he decides to chain more, then we're right on top of him and he can't move. So he's going to need to haste. I think he has enough for, he might only have enough for one more chain. I think it's 24. One, two, three, yeah. So we're gonna wait on our wyvern. Cause he can't do anything anyways. Cause I might pull the wyvern back and just have our Cyclops take shots. If he can only hit me once more with a chain or something. We have four behemoths in his face. Yeah, because that way it would keep these guys back here in case he decides to haste his wyverns down here or something. Wolf Raiders to take the hit, Wyverns to hit him, Cyclops to gang up, Behemoth and the Skeletons can go at each other. Ooh, this is going to be close. This is going to be very close. And our stats are so even. Two, which is insane. Like, yeah, he's got more mana. I wish I had more mana, too. That extra one spell could matter here. But I think it was worth it to arrow and hit his angel like that. Oh, yeah, that's that's a huge amount of psych or, uh, them gone. Let's start hitting the wyverns because he can't res them if he's got like tome of air or something it's going to be worth it to do that now we leave these guys here in case he needs to do that we just keep whacking him with with you uh 
Um, I get first go next turn. I have four spell points. I get first go. Well, if I get my turn. There. One, two, three, four. Okay, I did get my turn. How much health do you have? You're almost at full. So, start beating down the skeletons, I guess. And we wait, because if he hastes, that's what I'm afraid of. If he hastes them down to here, then we need this. To deal with it. I think you can kill my behemoth with him, though, which is not great. How much damage did his wyverns do? 230, actually. So I don't think he can actually kill my behemoth with his strike. Got 13 more shots left, too. That's 13 more wyverns we can kill. <laughs> Easy. Um, yeah, he's going for the shield. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good hit. But that's the freebie there. 49 and goodbye behemoths Okay I think we do that the angel is still up and alive. These guys still have slow for a couple turns. We can get away from his skeletons. Three, four. So if we go here, we're away from his skeletons and it would put the wyverns in full damage range. Unless he wants to, you know, use his last chain. This way we're protected against a hasted wyvern um, stack. And if he just animates skeletons, he still has to march them forward against 12 cyclops. So that seems like a terrible plan for him. Considering he only has seven power, he's not re he's not animating a whole lot. Like still like forty or fifty, but the Cyclops can take that in one full damage range shot. So it only slowed for one more turn after this. Well, I'm glad. Like, even if I even if I lose this, um, I'm glad this is like the final battle that I'm doing. This this is this is a thinker. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of what I thought he would do, but he can't do it again. 
he still has... Still killing two, which is still great. Now what is he gonna do? Just arrow me down? He's he can cast one animate. He's going up against eleven wyverns and eight cyclops. I think I just retreat my angel to here. Six, yeah, and then just start shooting him with every, with the cyclops until he's dead. I really had to play around that haste though, because if he hasted his wyverns right on top of me, that's bad. Can he? kill my angel with his wyvern stack though 140 to 180 um hitting into oh 21 into 31 plus shield i don't have armor and i don't know if he has offense I don't think he takes my angel with that. And his skeletons can't reach. Right? Do you, if I did that right, because he can't walk right into this one. One, two. Oh, he could take it. How much damage did that do? That's so freaking close. I have to wait. He's going to haste. Get right up on here. Because he's not going to... Then I'm going to need to do either... Yeah. I think that was enough to kill him in like... I think he had like 130 something health left. Shoot. Like he has to haste and hit in. That's that's just what that what he has to do here. Otherwise, he's taking a full damage. Eight cyclops hit to the face. Which I'm fine with. Or he's going to haste the yeah. There comes the haste. He's either, I wonder if he's going to hit the Cyclops or the Wyverns. Oh. The Wyverns, really? Okay. Do I stone skin? For a few turns of it? It's probably the play. my last spell <laughs> yeah he can't reach right here but we can double hit him oh he's no longer slowed yeah I think that's going to be it. I think that's going to be the game. Shoot. That's close.
That's a close game. Well, there goes the the tournament, but hey, you know what? I am very happy with how I played this one. I don't think much would have changed either if um, even if I had Traxor up a little bit. Like we have we have to play this out. I'm not gonna just GG out. Like he's got nothing left. If I even had something if I had the forward town, could get Septiana forward, I could have surrendered. Um, then I at least have res, but I don't have the forward town. What are my options here? Probably nothing after that. <laughs> Actually, quite quite literally nothing after that oh man yeah we have four left we'll just punch him down make him earn his win That's, that's so very close. Ah, well, here comes the GG. Yeah. Thanks for playing. Go check out the check out the map really quick here. Apparently, I've played them before. Oh, you know what? That's yeah, that's when he crashed, right? Okay, we're gonna check out the map and just kind of see what we got here. Okay, so beyond those, what else really was there? Um, prison down here. Oh, the entrance town is way down. Yeah, that's not good. Um, there was one more hive back here, which I don't think I saw. Or if I did, I just glossed right over it. And there was one more picket back there. One more box here. Chain lightning negation would have been very nice <laughs> oh that was speed cape i saw the enchanters in a box i didn't see that that would have been very nice too man okay but in, like impossible to get to you have to go all the way around okay um up here there wasn't a whole lot dread knights for armor of wonder or unicorns for tome of water Okay, let's see. So they had this. That's probably the agit. There's a Toma Earth right or Toma Air right there, so I wonder if he played that. It's an easy fight. Uh let's go check out this agit. He didn't save him, so it probably wasn't that great. Get rid of Galare. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Um Air elemental box for XP. Can he probably play this? I 
Wings Tabard, Ring of Oblivion. Okay, that's funny. Um, the Desert, though. Okay, so he didn't play that. I don't know if he played this. But heading south, there's not much. So this Desert isn't really that great. Even if he was in here for a little bit, might have gotten one, two, with Angel Wings, three, yeah. It would have been bad for me if he was in here for long, but I don't think he was. So day one, he has three heroes out. Six heroes, six heroes out, wow. Okay. But I mean, it's, again, it's Necro. He played the Churchyard. Ignatius. Yeah. Something cool out of here. Let's see where he got his um, knowledge from. Maybe he got it from here. Spyglass. The biome's okay. Bring a suppression up there. Um, yeah. All right. Well, that's that. Well, tournament is done for me, but that was quite a lot of fun. So, thanks again for watching. Uh, maybe we'll do some more heroes. Um, games in the future on here they're, they're hard to record at times so you know with the tournament game it's going to be probably getting to a final battle type of thing so um, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time bye